Hello chess lovers, I have a very interesting game for you played at World Rapid Championship 2017. With the white pieces is playing Sergei Karyakin and his opponent is 15-year-old chess prodigy Andrei Yespienko. Karyakin started with e4 and c6 by Yespienko, Karokan defense. Knight f3, d5, knight c3, Karyakin goes for two knights attack, bishop g4, h3, Bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, knight f6, d3, e6, bishop d2, queen b6, and Karyakin castles queenside. d4, knight e2, c5. Now black is getting very strong attacking chances on the queenside. Let's see how is Yespienko going to proceed with the attack. e5, knight d5, knight f4, knight b4, king b1. Knight d7, queen e4, knight c6, putting more and more pressure on e5, knight h5 and castling queenside. Of course, even capturing on e5 is playable. If f4, then knight d7. If f5, then e5. But Yespienko had different ideas and after knight h5 he castled queenside. And a dubious decision by Karyakin f4. Looks like a, quite a decent move, but it turns out that after this move, white's position is collapsing. It was better to play bishop g5, move away the rook from d file. Later this rook is going to play an important role. And only after rook e8, white can play bishop f4. But instead, after castling queenside, we see f4 and now comes c4. Black is starting an immediate attack on the queenside. D takes c4, bishop a3. Black is threatening checkmate in 1. Bishop c1, knight c5. The knight is also coming. The queen retreats back and here comes another powerful move, d3. Now can you understand, if the rook were on e8 square, then this d3 move wouldn't have been so dangerous, but now this is going to be crushing. Karyakin captured on d3, here comes knight a4, intensifying the pressure on b2, also there is this knight c3 check. Rook d2, here comes knight d4, the other knight is also joining the attack. Black pieces are just dominating the position. Queen f2, knight c3 check, king a1, and a powerful move by Espienko, you can pause the video and try to find his next move. Ready? This is going to be one of the most beautiful moves in this tournament. Queen b3. Black is simply threatening queen takes a2 checkmate. And now of course white can't accept the sacrifice because of this fantastic knight takes b3 checkmate. After queen b3, Karyakin captured on c3, but now comes queen takes c3. Bishop b2, of course, Yespienko had calculated everything. Bishop takes b2 check, rook takes b2, queen c1 check, rook b1. Here comes the knight, forcing white to give up the queen. Queen takes c2, queen takes c2. And, of course, this is just a winning position for black. g3, b5, another powerful move. And after c takes b5, here comes the rook. By sacrificing the pawn, Yespienko opened up the 4 rank, and now this rook is also coming and it's over. Let's just make a random move. If knight takes g7, then queen c3 check, and then comes the rook. Rook h2, queen c1 check, and white king is getting checkmated. That's why after rook d4, Karyakin resigned. This was a mind-blowing attack by Andrei Yespienko. If you liked this beautiful attack, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.